Welcome back to Mad Mondays. Oh my God, I have such a good guest this week. She's a singer. She's a songwriter. She wrote Wide Open Spaces, the song made popular by the Dixie Tick. She's got so many albums, including her latest called The Hard Stuff. It's incredible. Check her out at SusanGibson.com. And if you want to see my full interview with her, listen to it on my podcast, Kristen Knows Blank. My guest this week is Susan Gibson. Mad Mondays! Susan Gibson, have you ever played a Mad Lib before? You know, yes, I have. In fact, um, many, many times, Mad Libs show up in our Christmas stockings. We do love them. It's a good family. Yes. That's a good family. Yes, yes. It's a good. Okay, well, this is not a Mad Lib for copyright reasons. This is a fill-in-the-blank okay. story that I've written specifically for you. But right I've left on. out. Yeah, I've left out some parts of speech. You're going to give me those parts of speech, and together we're going to make a hilarious story. Are you ready to play? I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. I need a verb ending in ing. Fracking. Fracking. Uh, I need an adverb. Stealthily. Yes. Stealthily. Stealthily. <laughs> the word is stealthily. I need a body part. Elbow. An increment of time. Just a sec. <laughs> Just a sec. That's perfect. A brand name. Is Moon Pie a brand name? Yes, it is. <laughs> moon Pie. Why did Moon Our Pie, purposes? not to be uh, like a therapist, but why are you? Why did Moon Pie pop into your head when I said they're, they're brand always name? just always on my mind? <laughs> I can't believe I didn't give Moon Pie earlier for like adverb. Well, I think we have a new song title. It's called Moon Pie. It's always on my mind. <laughs> Um, <laughs> adjective. Purple. A life event. Getting my driver's license. That is a life event. <laughs> uh, I need another adjective. Miraculous. Miraculous. Excellent. Uh, a verb. Sleep. Uh, a religion. Methodist. Gotta go with what I know. A country. Sweden. A body part. Uvula. The uvula is the little dangling uh, part in the back of your throat. Ah. Yeah. Uvula. Uvula. It sounds so much dirtier than it is. It is. It, it does. And especially when you start out to describing it as the dangling little. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> A celebrity. Is it Mike Swindell, the My Pillow guy? Let's. Can you look that up? Yeah. I My Pillow Mike guy. Swindell. Mike. Michael Lindell. 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 Mike Lindell. Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guy. A movie quote. Inconceivable. <laughs> Adjective. Autumnal. Autumnal. Oh, like autumn. autumn. Yes. Okay. Wow, that's a fancy word, Susan. Mm -hmm. I need a musical instrument. Banjo. A verb. Flagellate. Yeah, that's, we gotta have it in there somewhere. A plural noun. Sisters. A verb ending in ing. Talking. Uh, an exclamation. Holy shit! <laughs> An adjective. Gray. All right, we have a story. Okay, let's hear it. We have a phenomenal story written just for you, Susan Gibson. Behind the music with Susan Gibson. Okay, let's have it. This is it, okay. The most popular song of 2020 is Fracking You Stealthily by Susan Gibson. It's so catchy. It's been stuck in my elbow for just a sec. <laughs> It plays everywhere. I heard it on TV the other day during a Moon Pie commercial. <laughs> I mean, you, you've known greater success now when you've had one of your songs featured in a Moon Pie commercial. I asked Susan Gibson how she came up with such a purple hit. Here's the story behind the music. Susan said, the song was written after a bad getting my driver's license. <laughs> I was so miraculous that I could barely sleep or sleep. To escape, I traveled to a Methodist temple in Sweden to clear my <laughs> uvula. <laughs> While there, I met Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guy, leading a guided meditation. He told me inconceivable, which became my mantra. The experience left my mind autumnal. As soon as I got home, I picked up my banjo and began to flagellate. I wrote everything I was feeling. I wrote about sisters and talking. With the last line, I said what had been trapped inside me my whole life. Holy shit, you're gray. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm 
so excited. I can't wait to hear that on your next album. I can't wait either. Bad Mondays. So here's Chin Up. Third grade, I gotta get weighed for the president's fitness test. No hope of getting up that rope, even if I try my best. I already tried that trick of calling in sick. Earlier in the week, Test got postponed. Disaster strikes my big bones. Cause I look strong, but I'm weak. Oh, you can make it again when they call you by your last name. Pretend it's just a firing squad. And I still bear the scars of my time behind the monkey bars. More on my brains than on my body. And now it's four tenths of one second. It was my old school record. I wasn't carrying my own weight. And needless to say, I remember that that day when I didn't get the high pass. President's fitness test certificate. It was just a piece of paper. Kind of like a college degree or a hundred dollar bill. Just a piece of paper. I take it back. It was number 32 light blue cardstock with a gold foil seal. Just a piece of paper. That gold and that Ronald Reagan signature was not real. Just a piece of paper. A piece of paper. Oh, chin up. I got to keep my chin up. Don't let my head rest in my hands. And sure, it gets hard. It's been years since I last hung. Man, I seem too young. For 40 year old memories. But that memory, it's still fresh. Like I burned it into my flesh. Sometimes I check to see if it's still bleeding. Now I'm walking with my hound past old St. Mary's playground. I could swing back and forth for hours and hours till I can feel the need for something just beyond my reach. So I go to the monkey bars and the salad bars. <laughs> I reach out my arms, I tighten my grip. My knuckles white so my hands won't slip. I clench my teeth, I can hear my breath. I am using every ounce of strength to keep my chin up. I got to keep my chin up. Don't let my head rest in my hands. And sure, it gets hard. They keep raising the bar. Everybody understands. You keep your chin up.
Wow. Wow. Aww. My own private concert. This is fantastic. Yeah. This is wonderful.